Okay, um, we're back again. This is Armin Mojara with uh, Imagination Everywhere Rhea Institute. We're part three of this hyperlink of a video in the Visual Web Developer video tutorial number three. And the reason why I made this video is I want to emphasize the importance of the hyperlink to you as the beginning web developer. Um, and what it is in relation not only to the end user on a web page, but to you and developing and, and, and creating your web page. So what we have here is I put a div on this page. And remember yesterday how we had the style where we could go and we can go to do style and then we can do like the background color and we can say black and then uh, semicolon and then we could uh, we could do the height of the uh, of the div and we could say let's say 50 pixels um, and then we go ahead and we save it and we can go ahead and go back to the browser refresh the browser and bam we have a we have a div that's black with the background with the height height of uh, 50 pixels excuse me I'm sorry I shouldn't have did that let's go back to uh, we have a div that has a height of 50 pixels so um, 50 pixels so if we go back to the document and we want to change our style what if we had a thousand of these divs or a hundred of these divs on the web page and we didn't want to change you know type every style within the div or even cut and paste but what we can do is we can come up to the head section of our page and we can create a you know a global style which is a style that could be accessed throughout all the aspect all the elements on the page um, all the elements on the page uh, that have the same um, um, name like div or if they have an ID they're called a uh, first div or second div but in this case any div any any element on the page that has the word div what we can do is we can go up to style and what we can do is uh, style equal uh, style then we can go um, type and then press equal and then we can go text CSS and then close it off and we don't want a self closing tag what we want is a uh, tag that has a, a opening and a closing tag and what we can do is we can say say the word div and then put two brackets and then what we can do is all we have to do is just cut and within these two brackets paste the attributes and make sure you put a colon a semicolon after the last one and then that's it and And go ahead and save it. Come back to your document. And if you refresh the page, it should look the same. Voila, it looks the same. So we go back. And if we want to change the ad, if we want to have, let's say, more than, let's say, copy and paste, so we want to have, well, let's put a break tag here. BR. And then we want to have, we want to have multiple di divs say for instance we want to have three divs and we go ahead and save it and we go back to the web page all those divs have the same properties there are 50 pixels and 50 pixels and their background is black but if we and if we want to change it all we have to do is say we want the color to be blue and we want them to be 100 pixels and we go ahead and save that and we go back to the web page bow 
there's the change. So we don't have to type style and all this in the same thing, but now, now what if we want to go ahead and uh, we have uh, different, uh, you know, the web page renders where it reads all the information from top to bottom. So what if we had a thousand divs on this page and we wanted the page to load fast for the user? Um, what we can do and if we had different styles and so you wouldn't get confused and you know you had divs you had different types of elements what you could do is you could have what's called a style sheet and so I imported this style sheet. I added this style sheet here to our solution as you can see here by uh, right clicking on the project and add new item and the dialog box uh, opens up and you have what's called a style sheet so um, if we click on a style sheet we have what's called uh, here uh, all we did is just take take that style right here and we uh, uh, called it div and we just put the let's put the color to red so and we go ahead and we save the style sheet um, and we take out this style right here and we save the page and we refresh the browser nothing happened I mean everything was gone but we had the style on the style sheet well what we have to do is we have to what link the style sheet to the page ask where I'm showing you where links are very important for you to understand so if we go ahead and there's another there's one more kind of linking tag that we need to know about if we scroll in if we zoom in and we go ahead and we type link that's an easy tag to remember then we gotta go uh, 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 RL and then we go uh, style sheet and then we go source I mean no we don't we go uh, we go style equals no we don't I'm sorry we go we go the hyperlink reference because remember it's a hyperlink so we go then we see the style sheet pop up then we go type you go type scroll over here and then the type of style sheet that we I mean the type of uh, document that we're uh, attaching is a CSS style sheet because that means that stands for cascading styles if you didn't know that and then we just close it off with a closing bracket so uh, now that we have that on our web page anything with the ID of div is going to have these attributes so if we go ahead and save that we have these three divs on the page remember go to our web page refresh it watch what happens page loads and BAM there they are so and style sheets are important if we're going to import say for instance we have more than one page and we don't want to have to do styles on uh, every page and we don't want to have to do a style section on every page and to put those style you know copy and paste copy we can just put it all in one global style sheet so we don't have to change the styles on every page that's what I meant to explain earlier you have to give me credit I'm, 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 I'm I'm still getting used to doing this uh, HTML stuff uh, as far as uh, the tutorials are concerned. So that's why links are very important. Um, so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next tutorial. I have a little time left and I wanted just to make sure that we went over links. So we're going to be using links everywhere. Um, like I said, this is the link to the style sheet. We're going to be using links to other documents to other images and things like that so um, in the next video we're going to be discussing uh, positioning and other things but I just wanted to go over with you the link tag and the anchor tag in this series thank you and uh, see you tomorrow in the next series of videos